That's super strength right there. Yeah. I've never seen that done before. Coach Greg, and stay tuned for this one. I'm going to be reacting to get this. Ronnie Coleman reacting to Bradley Martin. Bradley Martin, you may or may not know this, has some phenomenal feats of strength. Mind-blowing. He's really tall, but he doesn't look like he can lift that much weight. But some of the lifts are absolutely incredible. I'm going to be reacting to those lifts, comparing my reaction to Ronnie Coleman, and tell you what I think. Is Ronnie Coleman out to lunch? Impressed, not impressed? That's real. That's real. <laughs> that was a good lift, too. And Ronnie's pretty fair here. That was a good lift. He's going conventional deadlifts on a lever, which is not really as hard as you think. You may have seen the World's Strongest Man, people deadlift in cars rep after rep. It's not quite as heavy as you might think. What would be more impressive is if he was lifting this off the floor. But what's the most impressive is that he's doing this and ripping off his callus is thinking, I don't care. I'm getting this set done. He's tearing his hand apart, skin's falling off, blood everywhere, and he's doing the lift anyway. But I will caution you, when you are tearing your calluses off, it can take several weeks to heal and probably gonna affect your lifts. I've done this many times in the past, having to lift with towels, paper towels wrapped around your hand, trying to deadlift, not trying to get too much blood on the bar. And so it is an impressive lift, but not as impressive as you think. One, two, three, working arms and legs at the same time. At the same damn yeah, time. Super impressive. Never ever seen that done before. And I've also never seen that done, but let's be honest, it's a four plate squat with balance. It's not really that heavy. What's impressive is the balance required to go down without having the bar fall off your back. But if you're doing this under controlled, a four plate squat, it's not really that heavy. He then grabs the dumbbells and curls it while doing the squat at the same time. That also a lot more impressive. I don't really believe in rack pulls, but people like to do them. Unless he's gonna do something else. Yep, yep, that's pretty impressive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight plates, yep. And so rack pulls 765 for eight reps. Pretty impressive, yes, but not mind blowing. In comparison, some people are doing 765 for that many reps off the floor. If you were to bend over and lift this for a set of eight, that would be mind blowing. That would be something that perhaps only Larry Wheels could do. But to do shrugs with the weights, bounce it up and down, it's impressive, yes, but not out of the ordinary. And up next, a 675 pound deadlift for one. Not terribly impressive, a lot of people can do this, but what's impressive is look how he looks doing it in full costume Halloween mode, lifted 675. Imagine walking in your gym, seeing that guy dressed like that, doing lifts. That would be a sight to see, and so it's not really crazy impressive, the weight on the bar. What's impressive is how he's dressed and how he looks doing it. Don't hurt that girl, don't hurt her. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, I, I, that's, that's pretty impressive right there. And to me, it's not the weight or the balance that's impressive. I think a lot of people could do with it. What's impressive is he's able to convince these girls to go through with this. He gets so many different girls, volunteers, most extremely good looking to appear in his videos, doing cool kind of lifts and so on. So what's most impressive is that Bradley Martin knows all these girls that want to be in his videos. That is impressive. And so we don't know how big the girl is. For all we know, she's 100 pounds. I mean, Bradley looks about a foot and a half taller than this girl. So we just don't know how big it is. But, and so I certainly think a lot of people could press a woman with one hand. Oh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. That's a good lift right there. And I've seen this lift before with well over 500 pounds and it is impressive, but it's not that heavy, 450, 475 pounds. And so what would have been impressive is if he would have put back the weight the way he picked it up. You see, he just throws the weight off his back. Good thing he owns his own gym. Imagine this guy going to a gym, throwing back 475 pounds off his back, crashing on the floor. The gym owners would not be impressed. Oh, you gotta be super strong to do this. Uh, 225. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's super strength right there. Yeah. I've never seen that done before. 
Sorry to break it to you, Ronnie, but those were fake plates. It was actually 135 pounds in each arm, which is still very impressive. Not so much how heavy it is, but the fact that you have to balance that weight. 135 pound dumbbell presses, although strong, not that impressive. And so it's not how much strength you need to do it. It's how much balance that's required to balance off a 45 pound plate on each side of a 45 pound Olympic bar. There were fake plates on this bar. I did a video about it. They're saying he wasn't lying about it. And so Ronnie's saying, I've never seen this before. This is incredible. Well, in fact, Larry Wheels also did this, but he also had fake plates. And people debated me, said, no, they're not fake weights. He's lifting them. Come to find out those fake weights were, in fact, bumper plates that weighed 25 pounds, meaning it was 185 and not 225. And so I said, it's fake. People said, no, it's not fake. It weighs 185 but it looked to weigh 225. Many of the comments saying, wow, 225. And so in the future, and this is the future, Ronnie Coleman is being showed Bradley Martin's 225 lift, which is actually 135, and he's blown away. Oh, wow, that is incredible, and it is. It's mind-blowing, and Bradley Martin is not strong enough to do this. He could not do it, and neither is Larry Wheels, who's significantly stronger than Bradley Martin. And so my problem with that, then showing this and being deceiving, is that in the future, people see this, take it out of context, and not understand. Perhaps a thousand years from now, people will talk about the myth, Larry Wheels, Bradley Martin, and say, yeah, those two, they were incredibly strong. The most impressive things they did, they could do 225 pound barbells in each arm. People say, wow, a thousand years from now, even now, a thousand years from now in the future, they're thinking, wow, those people, they were really strong back in 2000. Hatfield squat, add to the flow. Yep, that was a good lift. And it is a good lift and it is very strong. However, Bradley's hands are on the bar and so it's making it a lot easier. Just think, it's like having a spotter. You're spotting yourself. You could have a thousand pounds on your back and squat it up, but if your arms are lifting 300, it only really weighs 700. And so he's squatting 675 pounds here, but his legs probably only have to lift 475. The arm's probably pulling 200. And so it's impressive, yes, but the way he's doing it, making it easier than last time. This, this way, this is the most impressive thing I've ever seen in my life right here. I, I, I buzzed my ass. And so 375 pound squats on a balancing board, that is the most impressive thing Ronnie Coleman has ever seen in his life. I wonder what he would think if he showed what I think is the most impressive thing that Bradley Martin has done, and that is to jump out of a pool. That is where I first discovered Bradley Martin. I don't remember how long it was, perhaps 10 or more years ago, watched Bradley Martin jump out of a pool. Went to the pool, and I'm like, how impressive is this? And I couldn't even jump four inches out of the pool. Couldn't do it at all. And so the fact that he had the strength to get out of the water onto the pool, the nerve to try it, because frankly, how dangerous is that? If you don't make it, you're slamming your head on the cement. And so that to me, the most impressive thing I've ever seen Bradley Martin do to even to this day with all the lifts he's done. And so I wonder what Ronnie would think if he saw that. And 375 squats like this, yup, it's very impressive. I gotta say, it is actually really impressive because like me, I have no balance skills. I wouldn't be able to do that. I don't think I could do that with 135 pounds. Probably fall on my face. Chain tied to his neck almost. That's super, super duper strong. And again, the most impressive part of this is the fact that he was able to convince a very attractive female to stand and follow him while he chains her up and drags her around the floor. And so yes, it's heavy, and yes, it takes a good grip, but a lot of people can do this. And the fact that he's dragging that woman doesn't actually make it much harder. If you lean forward a little bit, there's so much mass there, and mass, it moves mass, so leaning forward a little bit, walking, and pulling someone maybe 200 pounds, counting the bar, not going to be that hard. I certainly couldn't do it, but I'm sure all strongman competitors that compete at a high level could do this with ease. In the rain, bitch at four five. I'll never do that. And Ronnie Coleman, not a moron, not going to go out and bench 405 on the highway with speeding cars going by during the rain. Not the smartest move. Certainly gets views, but very dangerous. A car could slip, a hydroplane, perhaps just not pay attention, and you're dead.
And that thousand pound push, that very impressive. I gotta admit, that looks really hard. I don't know how hard it is, but I'm assuming, certainly don't know how hard it is. I'm assuming it's gotta be harder than last time. I couldn't do it. And he seemed to do it with ease. He seems to have great power. I'm sure all strongman competitors that are pulling trucks that weigh 50,000 pounds and so on, I'm assuming they could do this, but to me, very impressive. And Ronnie Coleman finds a three plate deadlift with one hand using straps while curling a 70 pound dumbbell to be super impressive. I think this is probably the easiest easiest of the things he's doing. I do believe I could actually do this. Three plates with one hand on a deadlift with straps is actually very easy to do. It doesn't take a lot of balance and you're able to use both legs as you're pulling. And so 315 pounds for the legs in the back, gonna be very easy. The hardest part of this lift is the grip and because he has straps, gonna be easy. And so a 315 pound deadlift, I do believe people out there could do this for 50 reps. Not me, but many people could rep out 315 with one hand with ease. And is a 70 pound dumbbell curl impressive? Yeah, for most people, but anyone at this level of strength, I do believe this to be an easy feat to do. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and in it here. Let me remind you to become a member of our newsletter subscriber list. We're giving away training programs. That's right, a free training program how to lift weights the best way. Also a diet program, we're working on those now, soon to be finished. Also five free recipes if you join and free giveaways, weekly giveaways, free shit. Who doesn't want free stuff? Click the link in the description, join the newsletter subscription today. HTLT supplements, including turkesterone, pre-workouts, pre-workout pump, G-Stim, G-Shred, GO2 Max, all kinds of stuff. Keep licking. Watch the top video, watch the bottom blue. Please watch one of those. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment for the algorithm. Get my freaking cookbooks, training books, coaching plans by me and my team. And until next time, I'm out.